Hi, everybody. I want to talk about trust issues and relationships and how to manage them efficiently. So, if you're in a relationship, yes, relationships are built on trust. And you can trust somebody and you can be happy with them and you can love them. But there still exist situations in which you just don't want them to put themselves in. Say, like, I do not want you to insert yourself into this type of situation. You know, and I think uh, a good example of this are things like, uh, you know, uh, girls' nights out, guys' nights out, strip clubs, being involved with alcohol. Um, you know, all of these various things. If you have reason to not want your partner to go, tell them. You know, this was a, a recent, uh, so recent circumstances that uh, I was counseling with was that uh, the, the wife uh, was, uh, has a co-worker who's going out, I think, for her birthday. And so the wife was, was saying that, that they were all going to go out, her and her co-workers, to a, a, a male strip club for the birthday. And the guy was uncomfortable with it. I told her as much. And so then, you know, she starts justifying it, saying, you know, well, you don't trust me. Well, what about this one time you went out with your buddies till 3 o'clock and I didn't know where you were? And all these things. You know, and it's, well, you know, what? A, number one, that doesn't have anything to do with how I feel right now. Uh, and so my advice was, you know, tell her if, if you're going to put your foot down and say no I don't want you going make sure your justifications are valid and so I told him this is what you say because they had you know recent history um, where she is when she was when she would drink she would get blackout drunk and not remember uh, what happened right but just within the last year or so they were at a bar uh drinking clearly because that's what you do in a bar you don't go there for the ice water and her ex-boyfriend was there and she starts flirting him up too drunk to uh you know really know what she's doing but it's pretty much out there to the point the ex-boyfriend felt the need to say something to him and say hey uh, you know, just so you know, like, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> and, you know, this, this, this is your chick, she's my ex, uh, I'm not interested, like, like that, like, don't, don't sweat it, she's drunk. So, but, but that happened, and, and then, throughout the course of the evening afterwards, she kept slipping up and calling her husband by her ex's name. Uh, so, that was pretty bad. And they're married with children right so that you know that that's an that's an earthquake in in that relationship so and that the thing is is it's not her first time to get so drunk that she blacks out and doesn't remember it and unless there's somebody there explicitly controlling the drinks that come in front of her um uh, she gets she she doesn't uh what do you call it? She doesn't keep tabs on herself to realize when she's had too much. She just drinks whatever comes in front of her and however many drinks come her way, that's, that's what she's drinking. She doesn't know how to say no to a given round. Um, so, with that in mind, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want you going to a strip club. You know, and, and, and it like went back and forth and, and he was frustrated and I said, look, don't be afraid to be a dick. Don't be afraid to be a dick because she's given you the reasons to not want her to go. And if she can't deal with that, if she can't handle that, then you've got a much bigger issue on your hands. So my advice is say, yeah, I'm not comfortable with you going. Number one, I'm not stupid 
I know what goes on at these stupid girl parties at, at strip clubs. I'm not an idiot. You know, you go there with dicks in your face. That's why you go. Girls get dicks in their face at a strip club. That's what they do. I don't want dicks in front of your face drunk. Because heaven forbid you yawn and end up with a dick in your mouth. That's fair. Not only that, you know, and, and I told him, you need to just be honest. After that shit you pulled in front of me, mind you, this isn't just, you know, coming to me third party. That shit went down in front of my face with your ex while you were drinking. Plus, it's only been a few weeks ago, you got blackout drunk. Again. So, no. Am I comfortable with you going out with your stupid girlfriends drinking when you can't even control your own drinking to a strip club? No. No, I'm not cool with that. And you need to deal with that. Um, and, you know, I gave him the pep talk and, and sent him on his way. Uh, and last I heard, he said, well, she's not going. So, I mean, we'll see how, how that unfolds. But the bottom line of it is, guys and girls both, when the person you're with gives you valid reason to be uncomfortable with something, you're not obligated, and, and, and pay close attention, because if you want sanity in your relationship, you've got to understand this concept clearly. It is not your responsibility in a relationship to volunteer to take the position of anxiety just to protect their bad behavior. If they're going to do something shady or sketchy or just generally something you're not comfortable with, you're not obligated to take the painful position to protect their fun time. You're not. You know, if she, if they had a history of, of going to strip clubs together and being on good behavior, that's fine. If she had a history of going out and controlling how much she drinks and keeping her, her head about her, then, you know, that would be fine. But it, that just sounds like a combustive combination. You don't have to be okay with it. You don't have to sacrifice for it. You're not the one doing something so shady and sketchy that you've got to ask permission and bring it up ahead of time. That's not you. That's them. So double down on your position. And you know... It ought to be common sense for them. If you give them the, the legitimate reasons and they don't understand it or they still push the issue, they don't respect you. You're with someone who does not respect you or your feelings. They don't care. And that's not a good position for you to be in. That's not a good relationship for you to be in. And if they still push it, then quadruple down. You should say, it shouldn't even be an issue. Why are you still pushing the issue? You know, you want to talk about me, let's talk about you and your unwillingness to consider my feelings on it. I'm not the bad one here. You're the one bringing this shit to me. Okay? Am I controlling your day-to-day -day life? No. It's not like I'm putting my foot down about going to the grocery store or to the gas station, is it? No. I'm not putting my foot down about going to the movies, am I? No. No. What am I putting my foot down? I'm putting my foot down about you going, getting blackout drunk, and getting dicks in your face. That's what, I'm, that's what I have a problem with. Yeah, I got a problem with it. 
Find me, find me another man who would have no problem with that. And I'll, I'll stand here and I'll wait. You know, any guy that, that doesn't have a problem with that clearly doesn't care about maintaining a relationship with you or he's got a side piece or he's just a pet and you've got his balls in a jar to begin with, you know? So you have to stand up and realize that you are not obligated to sacrifice your sanity to permit shady, questionable behavior. You're not obligated in a relationship. Period. You can love somebody, you can be with them, and you can sacrifice voluntarily, but don't be made to, to, to put up with it. Don't be made to sacrifice. Especially if it's the first time you're in that position. Because when you do it once, then you're going to always hear you were fine with you you were fine with it before why aren't you fine with it now so well because last time you did it you did some shady shit and now I'm not really not cool with it like I wasn't cool with it the first time but I allowed it you know so don't fall into that trap if you're uncomfortable the first time and listen to this so closely if you're not comfortable with it the first time you will be even more uncomfortable the second time. Because if you're uncomfortable with, with, with somebody going out and getting dicks in their face, you're never going to be more comfortable with it when it comes up again and then again and then again. See what I mean? Like, okay... Because you think it's going to be like a, a one-time thing. But you set the precedent when you agree to it. And then you put yourself in an even uh, worse position. So, that's all I got for you. You know, please like, comment, or share. Please take this to heart. Uh, I think this is one of the more important videos that I've done. Some of the videos I just sit here and just pontificate, random ideas, etc. But I think this, this in particular is such a critical and crucial concept to maintaining healthy boundaries in a healthy relationship. Sometimes you got to be a dick uh, to keep things stable in a relationship. And it goes for, for girls too. I don't know what the equivalent of being a dick is for girls. But you have to stand up for yourself. You have to double down and not back down. Period. You know? And if they can't handle that, I mean, how important are dicks then? If, if, if they're going to push it and want to go and do it anyways, then that means random dicks are more important than you. And then you need to really seriously consider how you feel about that and, and reevaluate the relationship you're in. So, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or share. I'll see you on another video.